In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this mode with this game, Bright Memory Infinite. And uh, this mode is called DLSS G to FSR3. And this mode does uh, replace NVIDIA DLSS frame generation with uh, AMD FSR3 frame generation. So Bright Memory Infinity has frame gen NVIDIA frame generation. But since I have RTX 2060, I, so I, can, I can't use frame generation. Uh, but this mode is going to replace the NVIDIA frame generation inside Bright Memory Infinite and it's going to replace it with AMD FSR frame generation. So um, uh, so to do this, uh, you must go to this link here and uh, you, you click here, you see this DLSS G to FSR 3 0 0.9 and uh, click on manual download and when you click, it's going to tell you to create an account. So create a free account and then go back here again and click on the manual download again and uh, it will ask you to donate if you want to support the modder you can donate money to him but if you don't you can just download download it for free and after you download it uh, go to the your pc settings and click on here the settings and um, search for gpu and click on graphics settings this is really important so hardware accelerated gpu scheduling make sure this is on enable this and restart your pc after that and um, after that uh, the file is going to be like this it's going to be like this in a zip file so you need WinRAR or yeah any uh, extraction app so just select all and extract it to any folder any empty folder on your desktop and um, after that um, open the folder and um, uh, so this is the installation of the mod to this game Bright Memory Infinite and this basically works on every game that has a DLSS frame generation um, yeah, so uh, if you have an RTX 2060 or uh, 20 series or 30 series or even maybe, I don't know, 10 series, you can use this. Uh, I don't know, like you, you guys can try. I tried it on my 2060 and it worked like charm. It's really, really good. So to the installation of this mod is first uh, you have to double click this, disable NVIDIA signature check, open this and click yes and then click OK. And um, after that, you need to uh, move these two files, the DLSS to FSR3 AMD is better, the DLL, and the NVNG, NVNGX.dll to the game folder. And uh, to open the game folder, I bought the Bright Memory Infinity on Steam. So on Steam, um, I'm going to go to Bright Memory Infinity and then Infinite, and then I'm going to click Manage and uh, Browse Local Files. And after that, um, uh, I'm click here, Bright Memory Infinite, Binaries, Win64 and click paste here so make sure it's inside the game folder like the 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 original game exe the, this is here so and uh, now move the other thing here and um, click paste and now it's done so um, click x now close this again and um, i'm going to show you the uninstall of the mod right now like so if you want to uninstall the mod real quick you need to first open this restore NVIDIA signature check. Like double click this and click yes and click OK. And after that, if you want to un un like um, completely uninstall the mod, you can just go to the game folder again. And um, yeah, go to the game folder and just delete these two extra files. This and this. So now I'm going to launch uh, Bright Memory Infinite and make sure you launch the game at Direx, uh, DirectX 12. So to do this, go here, properties, and launch option, make sure it says ask when starting game. So play and choose this, use ray tracing, yeah, this. So now let's see how, how it's going to be. So I have GeForce Experience uh, uh, FPS overlay, but you guys cannot see it I because I'm recording. So uh, I'm going to enable it to see how much FPS and how much average PC latency I have. So I'm going to go to settings. So right now I have, uh, I'm playing 1080p with um, pretty much the highest settings, I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, the highest settings and um, the ray tracing off so right now I'm getting 100 FPS the LSS is off frame generation is off and all of these are off so yeah now let's go to the gameplay now I'm getting 100 FPS but the game hasn't started yet so let's wait So 
so now I'm getting 120 FPS right here and my average PC latency is 17 18 yeah it's really nice so 120 123 and now I'm gonna enable the um, the DLSS so if I enable DLSS this is on right now so I'm getting 200 FPS right now and frame generation is also on so let's first try it with DLSS so let's try frame generation with DLSS on quality and let's see how much FPS yeah so right now I'm getting 200 almost 200 FPS like 190 185 I'm probably bottlenecked by my CPU here or my uh, yeah because I have like Ryzen 5 5500 or something yeah so um as you can see here, I'm getting 200 FPS, and uh, my average PC latency went from uh, 18, 17 to 50 milliseconds. So there's a bit of latency, like input delay, but it's it's like uh, playable. I, s I I would say it's playable. Yeah, you can get used to it. I mean, it's really high FPS. Yeah. So now I'm gonna use it with without the um, without the super resolution thing, I'm just gonna use frame generation because the super resolution, uh, like it lowers the resolution, then upscale it. I just want to use frame generation without upscale. So I'm gonna set this to off, and instead of getting two, almost 200 FPS, now I'm getting 160. 160, yeah. Um, my average PC latency is now like 60 milliseconds. So I'm getting 150 here, 150. I mean, yeah. This is good. This is this is really good. Like the latency is, you can get used to it. You can really get used to it. So, I mean, sometimes it's annoying this latency because you have to get used to it. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So um, there's this Nvidia Reflex. It helps a lot, but it's already on. So there's no point of just doing anything. I'm gonna play for a bit right now. So as you can see, um, uh, my FPS was um, between 138 and uh, 130 right now, and 150, 160 sometimes. So it's really, really good. Yeah, and as you can see, it's it's the latency is playable. Like it's not that really bad. Like if I lower my mouse sensitivity, maybe it becomes even better. And uh, let's say if we disable the DLSS frame generation so I'm getting like minimum 130 let's disable this now yeah so let's go back so now I'm getting 111 112 but the latency is really good now like my average PC latency is 22 and um, because I have reflex enabled so um, I'm getting 110 here and uh, I'll probably maybe drop to 100. Yeah, right now I'm getting 99, 99 here. And uh, yeah, so till this right here, the tutorial is finished. And uh, yeah, it's it's the, the latency is playable. You can play like this if you want. You can enable the frame gen. You can enjoy free FPS.